Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to hop on during my lunch break uh, to wrap up the knockback issue that I was dealing with last night. I want to thank Bluecore for um, hopping into the chat last night, introducing uh, him or herself, and uh, offering a few pieces of advice. Um, we didn't quite get to where we wanted to get together uh, last night. We were detecting collision, and we were sending the player off in a direction, uh, but it wasn't stopping. And the player would just fly off the side of the screen, so that's clearly not what we wanted. Um, I already have the fix in place. Let me show you. Before we walk through any of the code, we'll take a look at what it looks like uh, in live fire, right? So here's our guy. Bam. Boom. 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 Bam. Boom. So it appears to be working, at least in a limited sense. I still have to... Um, I want to set the slime, because th you'll notice the slime still stays in his... Uh, what do I call it? Whatever his attack me state is, right? So as long as I don't... If I don't push myself out of the way, he can kind of get stuck in this infinite loop of, of inching towards me. Right? So, we want to make sure that maybe for a brief second or two, maybe we push, uh, we push back a little further, too. Uh, but we want to make sure that the slime also goes into another state that's kind of in between that charging attack and him going back to the idle state. Because with it, it's within the idle state that he does all of his checks of whether or not he's close to the player so he can roll through that like that um pursuit and attack stage again but we want to give the player a quick second to just kind of get away from the guy because if he's just stuck in that attack state he's just going to keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting um so we don't want that that's something that we're going to try to take care of real quick on this lunch break so real quick to show you the fix what we had yesterday was basically this Right, everything just within uh, this code block within the script. Now, obviously, as scripts are called, it's just gonna it's gonna run it like a step event, right? So, what was happening was it was it was picking the direction. Now, the direction I I changed here too. So, this is not what the direction was before. What we were actually doing, it was a point direction function, but we weren't we weren't passing through the player's X and Y and the enemy's X and Y into the parameters. We were doing the enemy's X and Y and the enemy's X and Y's previous. And it would get that angle. And for whatever reason, it wasn't calculating that angle properly. It was shooting it directly zero, right? Directly right across the screen, to the right across the screen. So what I'm looking to do, because the I want the enemy or the uh, player to knock back exactly 180 degrees from the angle of which the enemy hit the player, I'm doing a point direction between the player's X and Y, the enemy's X and Y, and then simply just subtracting 180. Um, it moves the player at a speed of four for three frames, right? Oh, this wasn't here either, right? So it was just these four lines. Um, and for some reason, Sending him back to idle is not working because as soon as he is in idle, it checks for if whether or not the player is within radius. And he's always going to be because it only knocks him back a, a f you know, what did I say, three or four for three frames. So he's, only, he's always going to be in the range of 125, which starts the process again, right? So it loops and loops and loops and loops. So that's what I'm trying to do here is to just find... What can I do for a real quick fix to just put the slime into like a pause state before it goes back into slime idle and goes through the process again? Um, <clears throat> so the fix that that we that I ended up just kind of eureka-ing on uh, it was either this morning or late last night, and I just didn't test it last night. But um, was I simply was forgetting to check if whether or not the player was stunned. Right? So 
as the player collides with his enemy, uh, where the hell do I do it? Stunned, e now I, 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 he starts off as stunned equals zero or stunned equals false, right? As he collides with a player, stunned equals one. Uh, and we go into the, the uh, script of state stunned, right? Our state changes to state stunned. But we only have it run for a single frame because we only need it to run for a single frame, right? We set direction, we set the speed, and those will those those are those will stick, right? He'll continue to move at a speed of four, even though the code block is not executing. What we didn't want it to do was to keep looping through this code block and resetting the alarm back to three. It would never count down to zero because it was always every frame alarm zero equals three, alarm equals three, alarm equals three, alarm equals three. Alarm equals three. So he just shot off the side of the screen and never stopped. Um, so that's what I did. I just did a quick check. If it equals one, which we know it is at the point of collision, we run this code block once. I should probably have this up here. Uh, home, enter, up, paste. So we'll put that because we want to turn it off at the very end of what we're doing within this, uh, within these curly brackets. We'll just clean that up a little bit, bring it up to the top, and we know that it works. All right, so we're going to create um, a couple of things. We're going to go into our enemy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our enemy, and we're going to create a variable, and we're going to call it player collide. How do you spell collide? Collide? Player collide? Two L's. <laughs> Player collide equals uh, zero. Right. Uh, and then at the player's collision with the enemy, we're gonna say I question by the way. Do I need any of this? I don't think I even use this anymore, do I? Enemy ID. Collide ID equals enemy ID, right? Where do I use collide ID? At player create collide ID equals no one. Collide ID equals enemy ID. Yeah, I don't use this anymore. Let me try something real quick. If I turn all of that, I don't think I used that. I think that was part of the old solution. Quote, unquote. Yeah, that still seems to work. I'm going to, I'm just going to scrap this. We don't use this anymore. Right? <clears throat> I want to get the enemies X and Y because I want to pass it through. So I, I, um, I grab it locally. I don't know, why do I... Oh, because I have to send it outside of the enemy, because I'm going to be checking for it in the player. Right? Okay. Um, not in the player. In the... Uh, in the enemy, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I don't need that either. We'll find out. So player collide equals zero. At, at the collision, we're going to say... I don't need this anymore either. We're going to say with other... Uh, player, ah, player collide equals one. Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me. So first thing I'm going to want to do is just, I like to now show debug message. I like to go through, for some reason I have this in here twice. All right. Uh, I like to go through just piece by piece and make sure that each change starts to work, right? Debug message string. Uh, what did I call it? Object enemy dot player collide. Um, enemy dot player collide. 
and that should show me ones should start popping up here as the as the player collides with the enemy. Oh, I didn't set it back to zero. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll end up doing that in the uh, script itself, right? So uh, so we know that it's going to happen, right? Player collide, and we're going to say. Uh, Uh, object uh, enemy dot state equals slime uh, slime cooldown we'll call it um, it's not going to show up here because we haven't created the actual the actual script yet so I think you know what that means let's pop in here we'll create a script we'll call it uh, slime cool. I should capitalize this. This is the, this is the, um, how do you call? Oh, where did that go? No, this is not where I want to do this. Oh uh, yeah. With other player collide. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm starting to wonder now, is it worth doing this within the attack script itself? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, we're already here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, so within the cooldown, we're just going to say... Uh, action equals... Uh, s is it slime? Salami! <coughs> is it slime idle? Yeah. So that's going to make him just turn into a regular, a regular guy, right? Uh, and the cooldown timer we have to create as well. We'll get to that. All right. So when we, oh, when we start the cooldown, we're going to change his image to the idle picture, which is with the, his eyebrows up, the non-threatening look of the slime. Um, we're going to... Uh, X plus equals zero, Y plus equals zero, and that should stop the slime from moving. Uh, and we're going to say cooldown time minus equals one. If cooldown time uh, is less than or equal to zero, just in case for whatever reason the game happens to hop past oops, less than or equal to zero happens to hop past zero, we want to make sure that even if it's in the negatives, the cooldown shuts off. So we'll say state equals, uh, no, capital S, state equals slime idle. Now, cooldown time does not exist within the slime. <coughs> or within, yeah, the slime. So we're going to go in here real quick and just type in cooldown time equals, uh, I don't know, uh, Let's start with 40, let's start with three quarters of a second, right? Game runs at 60 FPS, so we'll, we'll do it at three quarters of a second. Uh, slime cooldown, state, so let's see. So we turn it to idle. He stops moving, I hope. <laughs> um, cooldown time minus equals one. If cooldown time equals, oh, and we want to reset cooldown time. Cooldown time equals 45. Let's see what this does. Let's see where we're at here. I don't want to go too far without testing to see what's not working. So the guy comes. He... Boom! <laughs> Slime cooldown. So after player collision... Oh, it's capitalized. Uh, where was that? Check enemy dot state that was in the player's collision equals slime cooled down. That's right. Let's see. No, I didn't seem to do it. Hmm. So another thing that we're gonna try show debug. Message, my 
must kill capitalism. Uh, Object enemy player dot state. <coughs> so show me the state that the that the enemy is in. He's in state twelve, which is if we count these, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's in idle. So so we should expect it to go up through the list. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, back to 12. <coughs> so when he goes on the attack, it should switch to 13. When he starts charging up an attack in 15, or 14 and 15, so let's make him make contact. He does not switch to slime cooldown. At all, it looks like. Holy shit! Oh my god! No! Alright. Uh, wait a minute. I'm already in other. I shouldn't have to reference object enemy. Because the the other is the object enemy. I don't think that's going to make a difference. Let's do this real quick. And just type in show debug message. Cooling down. Right? So every time <clears throat> this script runs, we should see that show up at just the one time. All right, he's at 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Something is not, something is causing it to not. Oh, wait, wait a minute. With. Wait, 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 wait. State with other, state equals slime cooldown. Oh, um, let's try this. Player collide. Wait, 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 wait. If what, I did something with player collide, but I didn't end up doing anything with it, did I? Cooldown. Let's try that. State equals slime cool down. If place meeting. So. No, this is the target. This is not where I want to put this. Why doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So and I don't think I'm going to need the player collide thing, right? How, where did I? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I'm. I'm going to remove that. I don't think I'm. Because I can always. Uh, whoops, where the hell did I put it? Player collide. With, um, other. Why, why isn't that? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So it's doing it. It's just happening. Dang. 
So we have place meeting x plus equals the sign. Uh, F5. Let's see what we got. Just out of my own curiosity. Action equals eh, slime idle. State equals slime cool down, cool runnings. So, something. It's still going to continue going. Target X. Target X equals. Unfortunately, I don't have all afternoon to do this because I'm only on my lunch break. <coughs> We're going to put this back to idle. I don't want to do too much from where it was working, right? So what's happening in slime idle? That's just checking if the player is within the radius. And if it is, to switch him up to the first attack phase. Okay. I get the targets, um, the players X and Y, and basically if I'm, um, Uh, if I'm colliding with the player, right, essentially, my speed is nothing. If it is, my, my X and Y increment equals that uh, of the players. Not that of the players. We get the sign of it times the speed, right? So sign is just going to return negative 1, 0, or 1, depending on how big or uh, whatever number. So if I got, like, sign 2,000, it's going to return 1. If I have sign negative 2,000, it's going to return negative 1. And then you can just reply, uh, multiply that by the speed that I've set, which I think is, I don't know, 6 or 2 or something. <coughs> then we move uh, our y increments at whatever that value ends up calculating to. Then if the player happens to escape that radius, well, the slime is in pursuit. Radius was 175. It's 125 to get him going. He'll kick off at me, but if I can escape it, he'll stop chasing me. All right, then he kind of hangs out again until you get close enough again. That's a pretty cool feature, the way that he bounces like that. <coughs> hmm. Okay, um...
Slime attack three is what is the slime dir? Oh, this is his. Uh, what, what the hell one is this? This is calculating. What do I have countdown set to? <laughs> 45. Yeah, so this is his his charging up phase. Right? And I actually in uh slime countdown, slime attack 3. Somewhere in here I thought I had uh where's my enemy? Slime view equals slime attack two. Where do I put that? Slime attack two. Action equals slime attack two. All right, so I do it within the... I should actually do this in in slime attack two. That's why we're not seeing it in here. I can just toss it up here. That should do the same thing, because it's that's the image of him bouncing up and down like he's charging up, getting ready to spring towards the player. Does that still work? Yeah. Wow, man, he really flies, doesn't he? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And then in Slime Attack 3, we, we, we send him to that. Is it here at the countdown? That's when I start counting back up again. Resetting the countdown. See, that's only at the end of the, the state, though. That's actually not that bad. I could lower that value, that countdown value, because it seems just, just a touch too long, but it makes the game a little bit easier to escape the thing, because it's not constantly going into that attack. I might actually keep that <laughs> for now, but I want him to go into the cooldown when he hits the player. If X, if if place meeting, so let me just put him through to the player, right? Let's try another place meeting with the player himself and not the target. <laughs> right, the target calculates where the player was at the time that the enemy goes into that charge up phase, right? So the player, even though the attack is coming, has a, a moment to try to escape the, the vector of the enemy's attack, right? You can kind of dodge the attack, so to speak. But if we say uh, if place meeting uh, x y um, obj player, we want to say uh, underscore target y. Whoops, target y. Ah, ah! I got this new mechanical keyboard, and I'm not used to how high up the keys are. I'm struggling getting used to it. Target Y equals zero. Whoops. Uh, and state equals slime cooldown. Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, target X as well, huh? Because we want to, we want to, we want to stop him from when he m gets to the target, right? That we calculate, but we also want something to happen if he makes a collision with the player. So this is this is sounding like this makes sense, right? So target what the hell do I know though? I'm only an IT guy. Let's see what that does. Okay. Uh, this will be the last thing that I try before we get going. Oh, damn, it still didn't.
Well, uh, why? <laughs> why? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, did I put that in? Where the hell did I put that? Oh, hang on. I'm in the wrong. We want to do that in the actual attack. Let's see if that makes a difference, right? If place meeting... Yeah, I want that to read while it's in attack three, not while it's in attack, right? I was well out of that that, that script by the time. No. Yeah, it goes to cooldown. You can see it's 16, right? But it doesn't go to cooldown when he strikes the player. So we're like halfway there. And unfortunately, I don't have... Uh, m any more time to work on this because I do have to get back to work. But I would expect an episode 2.75 <laughs> sometime soon. So I'm going to leave this up on my screen because this is where we were working last, right? I'm going to put in a little comment uh, left off here. Uh, yeah, left off here. And then I should just be able to search for that, right? Left off here. Yeah, okay, cool. Left off here, just in case this happens to close down or crash or whatever while I'm gone. Not that it should. Better not. But why didn't it work? <sighs> if place meeting... Is place meeting only looking for a point, or is it also is it just two objects masks colliding? You can check for position with a collision with another instance or instance involved using collision mask. Yeah, okay, that answers that question. Well, we know it's colliding because other stuff happens, right? And we do that based on its collision. Did I try just for, for kicks here? I know I said I had to go. <laughs> and I do. It's already in there. I don't know. Okay, I uh, I have to go. I want to thank you, uh, whoever that is there that's watching. It's probably me, which is okay, uh, for keeping up. And if you haven't, go ahead and like and subscribe and check out the other episodes of this uh, of this uh, series, I guess. I don't know if it's a series. Um, but everybody have a good afternoon, and if I get an opportunity, I'll hop on again tonight and we'll do some more. Adios.